Good afternoon again. This is Eric Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time once again. Thank you. So, what we got here is a beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest, as you can tell. I love this weather. Cannot get enough of it. Let's hear it for the rain. I'll tell you what, I really dig it. So, anyhow, look at me. I've already gotten sidetracked already. So, what we got? 1993 Bluebird TC2000. Right here. 12 row, 72 passenger. That's kids. I'll have you, uh, I, I better mention, 72 kids. We, when we figure passengers on a school bus, we figure kids, so three per seat. So here we go. Let's check it out. 1993, 72 passenger Bluebird TC 2000. Check out the step well tread. You can see where somebody had previously put on some grip tape there, it looks like, before showing, showing a fair amount of use, but nonetheless has a whole a lot of life left in i think these things are rock solid i'll tell you what these bluebird tc 2000s it was a daggum really good bus for bluebird for those of you that don't know bluebird makes a bluebird tc 2000 and the all-american so the all-american would kind of be like their flagship and the tc 2000 was more like their uh price point type bus if you will you know what i'm saying so very very functional here we go captain's chair right here high back driver's seat tilt wheel tilt and telescoping wheel no less you can see all the control switches over there for the courtesy lights and uh eight ways and all of that the warning lights which have been disconnected on this baby it does not have a stop paddle pneumatic passenger entry door or just entry door pneumatic entry door there a couple of fans there for the driver and it does have heat as well for the passengers and the driver so looks pretty good check out the mileage 205,000. that is on a 5.9 liter cummins can't go wrong with that i know you've heard me ramble on and on about cummins before i am a bit partial but i like them can't go wrong with the cummins so there we go i think that'll do it for the for the driver's area right here pretty basic bus looks like the windshield seems to be in good shape i'm not seeing any chips or cracks along with the passenger windows i noticed as well typical school bus style windows along with the typical school bus style bench seats the high back bench seats three kids per seat they are showing some use so look at that there's been a little bit of a little bit of repair going on right there but that is typical for a school bus goodness sakes i just got done telling you that the uh <laughs> that the glass was in all it was all in good shape but i lied to you pardon me we do got a crack going through one of those windows there. So midship emergency door right there. You can see the spring-loaded seat there. And a rear emergency door, no less, along with a rear emergency back window. A couple of roof hatches as well right underneath here is the Cummins. It's a rear engine pusher. So two emergency roof hatches, front and rear, as you can tell. You know, considering the age on this thing, I think it's in pretty daggum good shape. So the floor is in really good shape. I'm really digging the green. So I don't see too much green interior on school buses. Not too often. So it's got a nice touch to it. This would work good for a private school, you know, a sports team bus, something like that. Even a crew hauler, employee transport, that kind of thing to get, you know, just a straight up people hauler getting people from A to B. Very, very functional. All right, automatic transmission. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Right there, four-speed automatic transmission. Air brakes as well. Let's cruise outside, walk around her a little bit. There is the mirrors there. I think I failed to mention they are heated mirrors. Clearance lights up top. And good tread all the way around. You are not gonna be disappointed with the tread on this baby. She's knee-deep in tread. All right, and obviously it's a diesel since I mentioned, you know, it being a Cummins. Look at that. It looks like a 60-gallon fuel tank right there. That'll get it done. And there's the passenger side drive rear dual tires right there. Fair amount of tread. Check out the undercarriage a little bit there. Oh, yeah. She's pretty clean. It's been real clean. This has been a Pacific Northwest bus its whole life. I'm fairly certain you're not gonna find a whole lot of rust on this thing. Battery box right in here. Right behind this door is the master switch. I'll just go ahead and pop this open and we'll get a look. 
There's master switch right there. You can see a little bit of the engine there. 5.9 Cummins. The body and paint as well seems to be in pretty good shape. It's got your typical dents and dings and scratches, but nothing excessive, I don't mind saying. I have seen a whole lot worse. This is, considering it's a 1993, this is a dandy of a bus. Alright, look at that. 5.9 liter Cummins. Ooh la la. Love it. Alright. 205,000 on this baby. There's that emergency rear window hatch there. Look at that. Like I said, body and paint, pretty sharp looking butts. And I also mentioned it does have some beams and scratches through it. What do we got here? Ooh, there you go. Engine block heater. That way on those cold mornings or cold nights, you can plug her in. That way she'll fire up real good. Look at that. And the driver's side rear duals there. Oh yeah. Let's open up this emergency roof hatch right here. Get a look at the inside. There's that daggum buzzer. I hate that thing. Anyhow, looks pretty sharp. Okay. Check out the tire tread. Like I mentioned, she's got a pile of tread all the way through it. Really, really has... Oh, check it out, dude. WSP safety inspection sticker from 2014. So that tells me this thing was inspected by the state of Washington for this year. So it had its annual inspection at the beginning of the year. So if that tells you... You know, a little, in, in my opinion, that, that speaks volumes right there. It tells you a lot about the condition of the bus in order for it to, to pass that Washington State inspection. It, it's, it's pretty pretty uh, stringent inspection that the Washington State popo puts it through. So anyhow, I think that'll do it. 1993 72 passenger 13 row Bluebird TC2000. Check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call in questions, 800-231. 7099. Thanks.